stay dreams riding with the top down swerving on p street got the city locked down from buckhead to bankhead making big sound atl roll no time to slow down streets of decatur where we chasing that cheddar five points hustle suits getting redder colder than a hawks game bring the heat better midtown light show glowing like forever welcome to atlanta in the peach state of georgia did you know that Georgia is called the peach state because of its history in commercial peach production? Well, now you know. Atlanta is the city where the southern charm meets the urban hustle. Atlanta skies we rise and we shine. City on our back never fall behind. From the A to the L, every single line. Magic in the air, it's Atlanta's time. Today we are going to explore different aspects of Atlanta. We're going to experience the buzzing energy. We're going to check the diverse neighborhood. I'm also told that Atlanta has an amazing food scene. So we're going to be trying different types of food here in Atlanta. And I'm super excited for it. Apart from that, Atlanta is a place where history and innovation dance side by side. This is the birthplace of the civil rights movement. And it's also known to be the Hollywood of the South. There's a lot of movies that are produced produced here in Atlanta. So I can't wait to share all that with you. So get ready to dive into a world of culture, creativity, and endless adventure in the heart of Georgia. Greetings, good people. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching me from around the world it's a beautiful day a beautiful morning or mid-morning at this point and welcome to atlanta going to start the day with working out because yo we did not come to the u.s to add weight so it's not very early of course i would have loved to do this earlier but i'm working on it so we're going to start the day with working out but first let's grab something because i'm hungry as well so we go grab something light to eat and then we go to work out. Are you excited? First day in Atlanta. Um, we're taking it easy. We're taking it easy. Later on, we shall be stepping out. We're going to be shopping and, you know, just experiencing Atlanta. So come with me and let's do this. just made it to the restaurant it's called Longhorn Steakhouse uh, about to make our orders eat first before workout right now I love my coffee black and I'm waiting for my food let me know if you are from the United States uh, how do you find long home food is it good is it great let me know in the comment section yeah, did you ask for a spot she's gonna come yeah right. I need some teaspoon is here I got some salad and broccoli so I'm going to try my broccoli I love love broccoli really good we made it this is how we're going to be working out today LA fitness let's go in Yeah, 
Yeah. One thing you can learn about me. Ain't nobody putting word like me. Can drip can sauce like me. One thing I love about the United States is the convenience and accessibility of gyms. Major fitness chains have branches all over the country, often in multiple neighborhoods. So if you are a member, you can work out at any location nationwide. This makes it easy to stick to a routine even while you are traveling. Back home, it's a different story. Stepping outside your city or neighborhood often means losing access to your gym, making it challenging to stay consistent, right? This could be a golden opportunity for an entrepreneur to bring a similar concept to Kenya, creating a network of gyms that support active lifestyles wherever you are. Yeah, yeah. One thing you can learn about me, ain't nobody putting word like me. Can't drip, can't sauce like me. Ripping it up, I'm a major key. I am the one at the two or the three. Get on my level if you wanna be. Better than never, I got what I need. Pushing the limit, that's how it's gonna be. I promise I won't take it easy It's only right that I come with that greasy It's only right that I give him that pressure Just watch, you don't have to believe me I'ma do my thing Watch me do my thing I'ma do my thing I did not come to play I ain't got no limit, yeah, that's right Yeah, I'm limitless I ain't got no limit, yeah, that's right Yeah, I'm limitless They can't stop me now, yeah, that's right Cause I'm limitless It's my turn right now, watch me work Yeah, I'm limitless I ain't got no limit, yeah, that's right I'm not even close to the finish, just scratching the surface Turning my L's into winnings, I've been the one since the beginning No days off, I go so hard in the pain Putting that work in this pain, of quick I left no crumbs, you know I ate I'm pushing the limit like get out the way I am the one, we not one in the same Feeling brand new and you not in my lane Count me back as I'm breaking the chain I woke up the beast and I'm ready to slay I'm in the zone that can't get in my head Know what I want and I'm really ahead Got what it takes to be one of the best Watch how I move, yeah, I'm limitless, yeah I'ma do my thing, watch me do my thing I'ma do my thing, I did not come to play I ain't got no limit, yeah that's right Yeah I'm limitless, I ain't got no limit Yeah that's right, yeah I'm limitless They can't stop me now, yeah that's right Cause I'm limitless, it's my turn right now Watch me work, yeah I'm limitless I ain't got no limit, yeah that's right Yeah I'm limitless, I ain't got no limit Yeah that's right, yeah I'm limitless They can't stop me now To slay. I'm in the zone that can't get in my head Know what I want and I'm really ahead Got what it takes to be one of the best Watch how I move, yeah, I'm limitless, yeah I'ma do my thing Watch me do my thing I'ma do my thing I did not come Well, well, so I just came from the gym Time to go prepare And go to the city now Thank you We'll leave your door open because it's hot Yeah, it's hot Oh, that was a good start. That was a good start, and we can we're going to be just consistent with that. We need to turn up. My goal is to experience every facet of Atlanta, Georgia, as it is one of the places I'd love to call home someday. Today, I'm going to experience a local mall. Let's go do some bit of shopping. Our destination is one of the malls here called Cumberland Mall. And yeah, let's go explore and see what this very brand sport has to offer. So finally, we're starting to see some. <laughs> I honestly expected this place to be like a concrete jungle. I'm so surprised how throughout that drive from Miami all the way here, there's just been a lot, a lot of greenery and maybe lots of greenery also by the side of the road. Let's get some food. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Grab some food to eat. I'm hungry. Before I do some shopping, and then we'll take you to downtown. So let's see what you got here. There's a certain type of burger that I like, the veggie burger, so I want to get that one. Just something light before... Number three. The other one that we get, the 16. Uh, we want something like artificial intelligence, but it's Apple. Yeah. We have Chat GPT integrated into it. So uh -huh. let's say you write an email and it doesn't sound as professional to you. Oh. You can copy and paste the whole thing and it can turn it into professional, friendly, however you like. You can also do what's called gen emojis. So let's say you can't find that right emoji for the conversation, you can generate one. So you can do a dinosaur ride, a uh -huh. surfboard, and All right. generate that for you. Okay. Another thing that I really appreciate about the United States is the strong consumer protection laws. Unlike back home, if you buy a product, even clothing, except for in hours, of course, you can return it within a certain period of time, usually two weeks to a month, if it doesn't meet your expectations. Can you believe that? I think this policy is a great safeguard against, you know, those lazy salesmen <laughs> or those people with very pushy sales tactics. And it allows the consumers the freedom to change their minds without penalty. It is a smart strategy that keeps businesses accountable and prioritizes consumer or customer satisfaction. I love that. I really, I'm very sure what I'm looking for. They don't have it, but I will look anyway. No. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hi. Thank you. Um, uh, I don't, you know what? Let's just know what's time. I've been to so many Bath and Body Works and they don't have it. I'll order it online yeah, from Amazon. Yeah, the same one that I was looking for in Miami. Yeah. So I think we'll just check. We'll, we'll, let's order online.
uh, had some nice burger, veggie burger, vegan, vegetarian or vegan burger. I love it. I don't like burger, but that one is really, really good. And of course, I got something beautiful. I got some gift here. This is what I do for my friends. <laughs> Come, let's go. Yes, I got a phone. This is somebody, I'm going to be gifting this to somebody special. And I'm so excited, I can't wait to see their reaction. So, still using iPhone 13. Right now we are heading to downtown, you know, to just drive around and have a glimpse of the city, but I'll definitely come back to make a proper video. So this is just trying to have a feel of what Atlanta is. And then I'm going to be meeting with some friends as well. And then we're going to have some soul food. Everybody told me when I come to Atlanta or when I come to the southern of the U.S., I should try soul food. So let's do this. If you are enjoying this video so far, please smash the like button, share and subscribe in case you're not subscribed. Let's continue. Beat state dreams, riding with the top down, swerving on Peace Street, got the city locked down. From Buckhead to Bankhead, making big sound. ATL roll, no time to slow down. Streets of Decatur, where we chasing that cheddar. Five points hustle, suits getting redder. Colder than a Hawks game, bring the heat better. Midtown light show, glowing like forever. Atlanta skies, we rise and we shine. City on our back, never fall behind. From the A to the L, every single line. Magic in the air. Time. Zone six vibes, outcast flowing, trap house beats, future's been knowing, sweet tea sipping, culture's always growing, West End swag, history showing, Edgewood nights, paparazzi flash. 
ashes, liquor store tales, rep the stashes, stone mountain climb, dreams in the ashes, hometown pride, moving past clashes, dreaming in the land of fried chicken waffle house, from MLK's house down to varsity shouts, Georgia peaches sweet, hottest spot without a doubt, spreading ATL love, yell it out, scream it out! Fried chicken waffle house from MLK's house down to varsity shouts. Georgia peaches sweet, hottest spot without a doubt. Spreading ATL love, yell it out, scream it out. Chicken Waffle House from MLK's house down to varsity shouts. Georgia Peaches Sweet, hottest spot without a doubt. Spreading ATL love, yell it out, scream it out. So one thing that I was told and I want to try when I'm here is soul food. The southern of the US, of black people here in the US, they have something they call soul food. So I'm meeting with a friend and they've recommended this place. So this is called Busy Bee and my friends are here. Here we go. Hi Ashley, you wanna say hi to the camera? <laughs> How's that going? All right. So mm -hmm. we have Ashley. Do you mind? So oh, okay. It's really big. Yeah. Um, I to travel. She travels pretty much the world, and so um, I met her like this. Yeah. Um, maybe you can tell us what soul like, food. Get higher to, like, what soul food? Like, yeah. Fried chicken, collard greens. Yeah. You know, good old cornbread. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, catfish. Yeah. You know, breakfast is like grits. Yeah. You know, uh, another side for grits is whiteies, catfish as well. You know. So, are you from Atlanta? No, I'm from originally Jersey City. Jersey. Yeah. Where is that? Which state is that? The state is New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey. Yeah, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. oh. What's the, the difference between up there and down here? That's it. That's I changed, you know, I was there all my life and I've been here now in Atlanta for six years. Six years. Where do you prefer? Here. Absolutely. I love the weather. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's cold. Out it's there. very cold. And in the winter time, it's very cold. Oh. A lot of snow. But now they don't get too much snow how they used to. Like when I was growing up in the early 90s, yeah. it's get a lot of snow, blizzards. But now that I move here, mm -hmm. I'm still reached in touch with my family. They don't get that much snow. Okay. Used to, yeah. All right. Thank you. And what's your name? Corey. Corey. Yeah, thank you. Nice thank meeting you, you Corey. Nice, nice, nice meeting, meeting you. you. <laughs> Check out Tigers. African yeah. Tigers on YouTube. Tamdri. Oh, that's Tamdri. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. I just hey. saw him when we were in London like you, a month ago. Oh, you met him in London? Well, I met him in Guinea Bissau originally, oh, uh, uh -huh. and then we ended up seeing each other in London. Um, oh. it was like a month ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Well, I'm Are you not from? I'm from New Jersey, like. Oh, you. But I've been a chef you here my, for my life, the last time. fifteen, oh, yeah. almost twenty years. Right? Yeah, busy bee. No, I used you to be the chef here. Yeah. But then I moved on, and I'm actually a chef for Tyler Perry and Love and So why do you prefer? Here. Yeah. Oh, I, or Jersey. Um, I like somebody both. That I like both Jersey and Atlanta. Right. It's uh -huh. different yeah. cultures, yeah. different food, yeah. Yeah. different experiences. All right. okay. It's a lot. Well, it's a lot. Right. It just well, depends on yeah. what exactly you're looking for. What type of experience you're looking for. Mm -hmm. No, like yeah. you prefer here, mm -hmm. Scotland, to yeah. Jersey. 
Yeah. You get french fries, you get two sides. You want double fries? You love it here. Yes. Is this a place you'd recommend if someone. Yes. Absolutely. Atlanta is a place yeah. to be. Different cultures, different food. Mm -hmm. um, um, we definitely study a lot of different different languages, different people. So I love it. Uh -huh. Our experience. Course, I would definitely say experience um, besides like of course all the food. Because it's a lot of it's a lot of different food out here. Yeah. Um, I'm from I'm originally from Trinidad. Oh, you're from Trinidad. Uh, yeah. You know, Trinidad is one of my favorite countries in yes. the Caribbean. You going to? You're I was going, there. I've been there. You gotta go to Carnival during February. I was February, there during February. Carnival. Okay. I was there for Carnival. All right. In fact, I think I have the most viral Carnival video. It's almost two million yeah. from this year. Yeah, I was there. Very, a, a very broad experience there. Yeah. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. But here, you got a lot of different food. So you have like, right, so we got if you're up on this side of town. So yeah. what, what sides do you have? We have mac, collards, yams, dressing, black eyed peas, mashed potatoes, potato salad, string beans. Hmm. Just give me all of <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Let me see the list. Let me see the mm -hmm. list. Okay, first. Uh, how are the beans? Are they nice? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I'll try the beans. You want black eyed peas? Oh, what would you recommend? I'm going with um, mac and cheese, and for some reason I want some dressing. I don't know. With oxtails? No, I don't want oxtails. I want smothered I want pork oxtails. chops. She wants oxtails. All right, what's your size with the smothered pork chops? I'm going to do mac and cheese, and I want dressing. All right. I think I'll do the... I'm not so sure. I'm trying this for the first time. What would you recommend? <laughs> um, mac and collards. OK, I'll do that. All right. <laughs> And what's the name on the order? Um, Ashley. Okay, Ashley. All right, it's going to be 9039. Of course you can. And your signature, Ashley. All right, so we got our food. We're probably going to be eating in the car because there's no sitting in today. Busy bee, the busy bee. You come in. I'm opening the door for you. Come in. Thank you. Just throw whatever over there for Got some food here. This is oxtail with rice, macaroni, they call it mac and cheese. <laughs> and kalalu. Colored greens. Oh, colored greens. Colored greens. And what are you having? I have fried pork chop, mac and cheese, and dressing. Oh, it looks interesting. It looks really nice. Leila, what are you having? Uh, with ribs and cheese. Uh, all this is soul food. All right, all right. Let me try some soul food. Break. Mm -hmm. Let me try some mac and cheese. Really good. And the colored greens. I'm not so sure if I've ever tasted this in my life. Let me. You don't have colored greens there. This is Kumawiki. Mm -hmm. We call it Kumawiki in Kenya. It's very popular back home. Like every day, everybody, rich, poor, eats this in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Like this is part of our staple meal. And see, for us, we don't yeah. eat it every day, you know? Mm -hmm. right. It's not something we, we, we eat every day. Oh, we love it. It's basically Kumawiki. Black people eat it with their cornbread. Mm -hmm. It's very popular, like, oh my goodness. In Kenya, I don't know if this, maybe if the people who don't eat it, 0 0.000%. Percent, but this is something you'll probably eat every week, or even sometimes five times or six times a week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mmm. 
the oxtail is also great. It's different. Yeah. It's different compared to the oxtail they have in Jamaica. Yes. But I love it. Mm. It's really good. The food is great. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. I love it. Uh, sometimes there's people who've never left their state. Yeah, that, yeah. Or just two states where they grew up and maybe their parents moved or they moved for work and that's it. And that's the, I definitely encourage like my daughter to like for me it was big for her to be able to like see other places. Yeah. Like so that. how many countries have you taken her so far? Um she's on country fifteen, I think. Fifteen countries. That's mm -hmm. lovely. She's seen um a fair ship, Africa. She hasn't been to she has not been to Kenya yet, but she has so Senegal. we did a Kenya yeah. So we did a Kenyan visa. Yeah. And then remember we were supposed to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, I so we did the Kenyan visa and then but the thing about the Kenyan visa is it expires really yeah, it fast. It expires after a month, yeah. But right right now it's visa free. You need an ETA Easter. Easter for just uh thirty US dollars mm -hmm. for Kenya right now. That's not bad. So this is Mercedes Benz. Oh. This is where our NFL team plays. Mm -hmm. They're called the Atlanta Falcons. Ah, oh, okay. Um, so that's it's actually a fairly new stadium. It looks beautiful. It looks. It yeah, looks it is. It's new. It's artistic. Like mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So when they were building, yeah, this stadium, they had to like move a lot of people like it was it's actually a church over there oh. um that they had issues with because they want you had to open up this area um in order because for there's them. going to be a lot of traffic mm -hmm. coming this side yep so i think if i'm not mistaken it's about five years old over here but it looks futuristic you know, actually, this is another area, like, especially, like, they're gentrifying a lot of these areas because a lot of this, like, over there, those apartments just been long, like, um, the school. Uh-huh. Um, and, you know, now they're buying out the areas and gentrifying it, so. And it becomes expensive. Mm-hmm. Yep. It becomes expensive, and then, like, you know, like, I'm not, I'm still technically... I'm, you know, a transplant. I'm not from here. Yeah. So, I mean, I only know what's being told, but I know that a lot of people, you know, they used to live, you know, a lot of, a lot of the white people, let's be real, they moved out to the suburbs. Oh. Now, they want to come back. So, downtown was predominantly black. Mm -hmm. And now it's expensive now. Expensive is not the word. Like, now like some of these areas and i'll show you more yeah um especially tomorrow like with my daughter yeah where is track at mm -hmm. just to rent a house over there to rent you two to three thousand us dollars a month oh that's rent and not even to own so now because it's such a popular area like you had yeah. my phone now because it's such a popular area mm -hmm. now you know these are half a million dollar homes or million dollar homes for something that really don't Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom. Um, should be in my purse. Yeah, but they're like half. You need a charger. Oh no 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 no. Oh uh, yeah, okay. half a million dollar homes or whatever. That really ain't worth it. You know, like it's not worth it. But like you see the view. It's not far from the city. I'll take you around. Oh, all right. It's not far from the city. Like you'll be able to see the city. Like the city is like right here. Um, but then the best view of that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like at night. Oh. Um, or if you have you have Olympic Village, mm -hmm. that's the same thing. You know, whatever else. Like it's some downtown Atlanta can be beautiful depending on what angle you're seeing it from. Alright. But also they have like the Olympic rings. We had the 96 Olympics here oh. in Atlanta. Okay. So the rings are still here. Mm -hmm. So when the Olympics came, you you know they have to prepare. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of 
the HBCUs. Are you familiar with what an HBCU is? Historically black colleges and universities. Yeah, and so like those schools were big for me. Like I'm a I'm a graduate, so I've gone to both. I've gone to a PW. I've graduated from a PWI, and I, which is a predominantly white institution. Yeah, and I'm an HBCU graduate. Um, but for me, it was very important. So now you see, that's like one of the torches for the Olympics. Oh, oh, yeah. So for me, like it was important because my grandparents, like I'm not a first generation college graduate. My grandparents have degrees as well. Mm. So, but the schools. The school that I graduated from with my undergrad undergraduate degree um, was important to me because my grandmother, who was a school teacher for 32 years, couldn't go to University of South Carolina or couldn't go to Clemson, but she can go to HBCU. So I feel like it's de it was definitely a need for us to keep those open and go. Now for my master's, I got my master's from LSU in South Carolina, so like mm -hmm. I did attend the PWI. Um, Pre what are predominantly white mm -hmm. or oh, which university um so i have lsu and then i have university of south carolina okay so those are two um but hbcu for me was very important because of that because those were the only schools that my parent my grandparents could attend oh back and see my grandparents actually met in college oh so my grandfather went to school like like they my grandfather went to Benedict College and my grandmother went to Allen University. And um, my grandma used to joke, she used to say every time she saw my grandfather, she knew she was about to eat good. She, she was uh, the baby. Uh -huh. My grandfather took care of her when um, when they were in college and he went to the military, of course. Um, they got married, had two kids. Um, they were some of the first blacks to live in the area that they lived in and then eventually white people moved uh, and took out, you know, whatever. So my grandparents were, you know, like I said, I wasn't a first generation college graduate. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, any of that. So. Okay. So what area are we right now? Still in downtown? We're still downtown. So this was also like a black area. Mm -hmm. And then the colleges actually started to buy it out. So like for instance, um, if you look to the left or whatever, of course, yeah. you start to see the city. Yeah, I can see the city. Um, so that's really downtown. So you have the school, Georgia State, uh -huh. um, Georgia Tech, all of those are there. And then, sorry, over there you have the Braves Stadium. Uh -huh. Well, it's the old Braves Stadium. It's where the, um, where the professional baseball team used to play, uh -huh. but they built a whole new stadium. So. They're out in Cobb now, near Cumberland, where you was at earlier today. Yeah. yeah. So then you have like over here with this, and then you see 96. Oh, I see. You see oh 96 yeah, I see Atlanta living. 96. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. So you have now that they, now they're doing a lot of construction. This is actually a really really busy area. So another co a college actually bought this area. Oh, or whatever. Like, this is where it's the gentrification is happening in this area. So I'm like, here, none of this was here a couple of years ago. Oh, so was it bare? It wasn't bare. It was like old homes, oh. and you'll see the transition. Like, you'll actually see the transition of um of what it looks like, or what the potential of what it could look like. That's Georgia State's football stadium now, but the Atlanta Braves used to play there. Okay. And then um, they built a whole new stadium and then they moved. These over here a couple of years ago was not here. These houses, all these houses, they took old houses. And I'll show you an example of one. And pretty much just redid it. Okay. And built the apartments. Mm hmm. And they're sure they're expensive, yeah? Expensive ain't the word. <laughs> we can look up a house. The moment. Expensive is not the word. It's ridiculous at this point. Because the average person, and the first thing I think I think about is like, um, because a lot of our grandparents, great-grandparents or whatever, probably family homes. And then all of a sudden, now they can't afford them. Yeah. So now they're out in the streets or whatever else that they had to sell, especially during the, you know, during COVID. I mean, COVID was where 
they capitalize a lot, you know? Yeah. So, a lot of these homes, they didn't build them, they remodeled them. Uh -huh. They bought old homes and basically made them into new ones by remodeling them. Okay. But no one can force you to pay to sell your home if you don't want as well. No, but you know, COVID was a great time for that to happen because you you can afford it. You know, oh, you can't afford it anymore. COVID was bad for a lot of people. A lot of people, especially, and um, especially when they came down, like for instance, like for me, mm -hmm. I had a regular like job, not a regular job. I mean, I had a regular salaried job in position. Mm -hmm. I made really, really good money. Mm -hmm. So during COVID, they did what you call a furlough, which is they just basically lay you off for a couple of months. Uh -huh. So, but you got to think about it now. COVID happened so fast that when it furloughed, you really, you didn't have, I mean, unless you had a savings, thank God. Yeah. I had a savings because I didn't get, I didn't have an income from, March until September. Oh, wow. But I had a savings, so I was able to make day. I was able to, you know, mm -hmm. pay my bills and, you know, all that other stuff. But not, the average person doesn't have that money. So you see somebody like this. So these are some of the old homes. Yeah. So, like these, th so you know, those houses over there that you see that are really nice and three story? Yeah. That's how they look. Ah. So they used to be single, simple homes as well. Right. So they now look, they're remodeling them like yeah. this and then putting them for sale. Mm. So it's stuff like that, which honestly, I'm not, I'm going I'm to say this. I have, you know, two thoughts. I have thoughts about it or whatever. So my thoughts are for one or whatever. I'm all for, you want to make your city look good, you know? Yeah. But then also, too, I feel like especially certain things should be protected to where you put a cap on rent. Yeah. Or you put a cap on something. Because, like, his neighbors now. Yeah. So they took, like I said, all these houses uh -huh. and they're remodeling them to look like that. And selling them four, five, six, seven, Porsche. eight times the price. A bunch of money. Yep. So now, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take Layla to see her. I'm out of fact. Oh, Coach Rambo. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh, that's her coach. That's her coach. He's an Olympian. I'm about to let you meet him. Oh, He's a gold okay. medal Olympian. He's a gold medal Olympian. Columbia this weekend. Huh? Columbia. Oh. Wow. Hi, Coach Rumble. Hi. So this is my I'm friend. Good. She has a YouTube nice channel. To nice to oh, meet you too. A really good YouTube channel. Mm. So he actually owns Epic TV. What's oh, that? <laughs> he over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. She's 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 excited. So this is my friend Lynn. She okay. has a really big travel channel on YouTube. Okay. So she's from Kenya. And so I took her to get soul food for the first time. Oh, okay. King of the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the, Layla, she saw Coach, she saw Coach Rand before she saw you. She was like, Coach Randall! Yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> you, Summer. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Go crazy. But he's an Olympic old medalist. Oh. So I was just uh, showing her, like giving her a little tour and also talking about the gentrification of this area. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's changed yeah. some yeah. I was like, a couple of years ago, all of this was not here. This is a whole new team, ain't it? Yeah, it's a whole bunch of new folks now. Who is he that I know? Pretty much. Yeah, oh, everybody. Pretty much most of you know everybody. Go there. Yeah, it's, good. it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice we meeting you, here. too. All the way from Atlanta to Kenya, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you, you, you ran track? Well, I ran track. I ran track in my former days, but now just mm -hmm. a, a track coach. Uh, what 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 were you what area? My discipline was the long jump. I was an Olympic gold medalist back in 2004. Uh huh. And a uh, world long champion. jump. Yes. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So I know about all the great Kenyan 
middle distance runners and 10,000. Who do you remember? Oh, I mean, I mean everybody. I everybody. Mean, everybody. the world record holder of 800 meters. Yeah. Faith. Uh, she's killing it right now. Yeah. Uh, no, did you hear about the one that got killed? Get out of there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is an aunt. Right. Oh, that's Ugandan. No, that's she's set on fire. Uganda, yeah. It's, she's Ugandan, but was killed yeah. in Kenya. Yeah. Oh, she was killed in Kenya? Yeah. Right. Yeah, she was right. killed by Jela's boyfriend. Okay. What the hell? Oh, my goodness. Your daughter is so fast. Can you see? She's already over there. Yeah, like, that's her team. So she... Yeah, uh -huh. I was like, yo, what is going on over here? Oh, I was feeling, I thought it's something. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> no, it's the ants, yeah. ants from over, like, yeah. who put chicken on the ground? I was standing right there, <laughs> and I started, I looked down, and I was like, what in the world? Right. Yeah. You didn't get beat either. No, they you? don't buy. These ones yeah. don't buy, they just crawl on you. Yeah, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> and you start scratching yourself. Yeah. It's got like 15 million views. And you read the comments, and people was like, when she about, started running, people were criticizing you, man. Yeah, like oh. they were like, oh, you should let her be a kid. And I'm like, she is a kid. Like, or they were like, I'm living vicariously through her. They mm -hmm. call my baby Caster Samantha. <laughs> really? That girl, yeah. I mean, they talked about her hair. Mm -hmm. um, they did a lot. You know, and at first I used to like comment. Sorry. Uh -huh. At Response. first I used to comment and respond, and I was, was like, they don't know her. Uh -huh. They don't know me. You know, why do I care about what people think? Mm -hmm. If you're not paying my bills. So the video is on her Instagram? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. um, another place posted it. Oh. Like they posted a video of her, and mm -hmm. it, the, the, the video went viral. It blew up. Yeah. And literally, when you read the comments, you're like, that's a child. And at first, like, I was offended by it. But like I said, I I started thinking. I was like, these people don't know me from a can of paint. Why, why do I care? Exactly. I can tell she loves it. Yeah. She loves it. And she has so much energy. And that's what matters to me, like, whether she loves it. Like, is she having fun? We have that conversation every year. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, are you having fun? Is this what you want to do? Yeah. Um, Because if she doesn't want to do it, I'm not going to make her. Yeah. I'm not going to make her. She can do what she likes. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Oh, yeah, eight time national job? Yeah, I'm, eight. Eight, I'm a 16 time All American and eight time national champion. Sorry? I'm a 16 time national champion. I'm a no. national, not national, what's it called? All American, All -American. and uh -huh. eight times national champion. Oh, that's great. That's great. I can't wait. I know she will. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> yeah. Would you want to be in the Olympics someday? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that would be amazing. I'll be there, I'll be like, I know her. <laughs> yeah. So, I, did you, like, what happened with the story of the um, Ugandan lady? Do you know the background of that? Jula's boyfriend. Like, when I saw it, I, like, you don't have to know someone to cry. Yeah. Like, you don't have to know a person to cry, and it literally broke my heart because mm -hmm. you had to really, really go out of your way to go get some gasoline and douse it and set someone on fire. Like, I think the pa a partner that you choose is very important. Some men oh, yes. are threatened oh, yes. by success, you know? Oh, yes. Or they would hate when you're getting attention. I mean, you're an Olympian, so you're definitely going to get attention from people from all over the world mm -hmm. so some partners would be jealous because you have attention yep yeah so this is probably one of the, this in 285 i think you experienced 2285 yeah. today yeah it's probably the busiest but this leads you in and out of atlanta along with 20. So this like, is 75. this is so this is 75 80. yes Atlanta it, overall is an international airport, uh -huh. but Maynard Jackson is the international side. Oh, yeah. So Hartsfield is so they renamed the international side to Maynard Jackson. So there's a lot of freedom. Mm -hmm. I don't know in Africa I call them freedom fighters, but I think here you call them civil rights. Leaders. Civil yeah, civil rights leaders. Yeah, a lot of them come from Atlanta. Yep, and then you'll see like a lot of our highways or you know things like that that are named after them. You know, Hosea, 
Williams. Everybody got an MLK. <laughs> yeah, MLK. We saw it. That's how we yeah. visibly is out. The every, restaurant we went every to. Every city is going to have an MLK. Yeah, I um, said to Miami as well. You have the main of Jackson. Uh-huh. You have, like, you'll be able to, tomorrow, you'll see them tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But a lot of these streets are named after civil rights years. Okay. So now we're heading out near like College Park. Yeah. And so what's so at College Park? This body shop to see what's going on oh. in Scratch. Oh, he just need to look at it and see oh, the this Scratch? The Scratch on the hood of my car. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll show you when you, but like, yeah, it like somebody just went. That's all awesome. down the hood of my car. But I don't want it on my car. Hmm? You don't want it on the car? No. Uh-uh. You guys are painted. This guy don't come out. Somebody definitely scrap doing this. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. It that's looks intentional. Said, intentional. Yeah. 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 Somebody definitely do this. But literally, I went in the Best Buy and came back, and this was on yeah, here. Was, yeah. Maybe a crackhead. I don't know. Because I don't think there's anyone who'd target you. I wasn't even in an area. But well, first of all, I'm very non-confrontational. So you ain't got to do. You ain't got to do that. The whatever. Like I don't bother. Like I'm a loner. I barely talk to people. So that ain't yeah. it. But it was in the area, it was in a white side of town. I do feel like that's how we still can do what we gotta do. Yeah. Um, I got a car to do that. Can you get to it tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Um have an apartment tomorrow to do something. I heard you was the man, Paul. So mm-hmm. I heard you was the man. Grace said you was the man. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, know, I can't do everything sometimes. Are you from Jamaica? Yes. Oh. Uh, I know whoever Grace said to me had to be Jamaican. Hmm? Grace, your friend is Jamaican. Grace. Uh, I, knew it, like, I knew the accent when I heard it, uh-huh. but just you got to know her. Mm-hmm. She yeah. gonna look out for her Jamaican. You know, she... That's the thing about Jamaicans. They, yeah. look, they look out for each other. Yeah. So a lot. I knew then. I knew who he, what he was going. I knew he was going to be Jamaican. Mhm. But yeah, somebody playing with me. But yeah. so they need to like buff these and then paint it. Someone was like. And I mean, like I could say if I be by, I don't bother y'all. I'm really, I be chilling. Like, I mm-hmm. don't bother. No, nobody could say I took their man. Nobody could say I was talking to nobody. I literally walked into Best Buy to go buy suck, buy that. And I still got to take that back because I broke it. Yeah. Or whatever. And came out. And literally, you know how you just walk? You're like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I stopped. I called Grace. I said, Grace. Like. <laughs> Someone's done Remember, something on my car. It happened because Grace had just seen the car. And so when I showed her, she said, no, this wasn't here. I had to, You know how you just be like. Was it here earlier? Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. Wow. That's the airport. Delta. Mm-hmm. Delta hub. So it, that's more of like where the international side, I'm going to roll up a little bit. More yeah. like the international side over there. Yes, yeah, here. And then like if you look straight ahead up there, you see like look straight, diagonally straight. Yeah. That's the city. Oh, yeah, I see the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah, see the city. The skyscrapers. Mm-hmm. There so we you have probably it. haven't been to Buckhead yet either. Yeah, I haven't been to Buckhead. I wanna go to Buckhead. I wanna go to Buckhead. Go to Linux, Buckhead. That's where you see the. So you got two. Oh, places. so the runway is here. This one's a landing. So Atlanta Airport is huge. Like we got a full day of excursions. Atlanta Airport is huge. So just keep in mind, mm-hmm. like Atlanta, even though. So you have T. A, B, C, D, E, F. You have seven concourses, right? Yeah. So T and F connects. Uh-huh. But if you drive it, it's about a 14 minute drive. Oh. And that's the difference between the international and the domestic. And the domestic. And anyway, they said this is the busiest airport in the entire world. It is. I've never, especially when you can be in. 
traffic I mean you can be in TSA mm -hmm. for hours yeah absolutely so when you're traveling out of here you better go early well international is yeah international is usually not that bad oh and or whatever but when you go domestic everybody is flying connecting to somewhere through here yeah and like depending on when it is during the summer or whatever else girl you can like i know people that was in line for three four hours trying to it be backed up missing their flight and everything mm -hmm. it just depends <laughs> so now we're going back towards the city but we're going like college park mm -hmm. um because i want to this sammy's I'm, I'm hoping it's open if not you know we'll see it tomorrow but i want some today oh, okay. all right Hope, hopefully yeah uh beautiful sunset Unlock if you know what you want. Okay, let's see. Some dessert. Thank you. Thank you. Yellow chocolate is so good, but that's our favorite. And I be liking to mix the yellow chocolate with the red velvet. Like, I don't know why. And they have the nuts and the chocolate. But this is what they have today. Mm -hmm. um, but this is pound cake. Red velvet is always good. Strawberry vanilla. They got the red velvet without nuts. And they got cheesecake down here. And it's so good. Oh, she's live. Yeah, oh. she be dead sometimes. But she, but she see cake. She gets up. I do it. See, I just do is like, this, I just what platform is this? this is I got to come early to get Oh, this is TikTok. Um, what yeah. you would call it? 
I'm just doing it to see who joins. And what days you make carrot cake? Uh, Wednesday and Saturdays. Yes. Sammy cheesecake. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the reason. Oh, no, I don't let eat let carrot cake. My sister does. Let me take that. One. So what you getting? Is that the little ice cream? Yes. I want that. Okay. Yeah. Which one are you getting? I'm gonna go with this red velvet because you can't go wrong. And it adds the nuts oh. and the icing. Oh, y'all be don't want us to touch it. But why is only got nuts like right here? Uh, when they put the nuts on the cake, they like spread them out. That's why. Okay. I think I'll try the red velvet as well. You want nuts or without? Huh? You want the one with nuts or without nuts? With. With. Yeah. With pecan. Alright, we gotta go get something to drink now. So. Something to drink? Yeah, because I finished my tea. Alright, alright. Right. Cheese cheesecake. Mm -hmm. I'll just taste it and then I'll have the rest later. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So soft. Mm -hmm. I love it. So velvety. <laughs> like velvet. This is, oh, city drill. Oh, it looks really beautiful at night. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's so beautiful. And then all down here. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a nice view at night. Yeah, it's, so it's giving Hong Kong. Really? Yeah, Hong Kong at night, Hong Kong Central. They even have like a show where by the city lights there's music uh -huh. and the buildings play to the tune like you guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, so we've come back to the city. We want to see what it looks like. There's this popular spot where people come to take photos at night with the view of Atlanta. So come with me and let's go check this out. Come with me, let's see this view. Let's check out this place. One, two, three. Hello, Atlanta. <laughs> oh, wow. But you know what? They recently just did this. Is this, crazy. this is makes it look too dirty. Right. The graffiti. Yeah. Or whatever. We have locks right here. Oh, there those ones for love. This is interesting. So they're trying that love thing. That's yeah, like, but why would you want to look at how Yeah, the person who did this, it's just like the person who scratched your car. You get it? Yeah. The person who did graffiti is the person <laughs> who scratched your car. Scratched yeah. yeah. Look at that. So, it's beautiful. house right there oh so they still own them but all of these are still the same they or whatever historical so you can't uh -huh. you can't bring them down nope you'll never be able to bring them down oh i'm glad that it's protected see yeah. i see that the wall no, yeah, I see, Ma Ma yeah, I see yeah. Martin Luther King over there. Yeah. Oh, I see Center for Nonviolent Social Change. But if you see that thing that's up right here, yeah, that's him. That's where he is. Ah, oh, okay. TMI. Yeah. I'll I'll come to explore here. I see here Martin yeah, Luther King. You'll see all of it tomorrow. And then this Ebenezer Church. Oh. This was the church that's very historical. This is where he preached at. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, do you have ding dings like trams? Yeah, down here. Yeah. Oh, okay. They have a train system like downtown. Uh -huh. So some people take wish. the train. I'm just not train material. Uh -huh. green. See green. You wish. You just can't beat me. I'm, I'm calling like them ding dings because <laughs> in because in Hong Kong they are called ding dings. Oh, really? And they, it's because of the sound. Ding. Oh, okay. Ding. I, I'm not so sure if those sounds have that sound here, but in Hong Kong they're like ding, ding. So they call them ding dings. So this is like some bars where people yeah. be going. This looks like a vibrant, yeah. like it's it on the weekend. Uh -huh. It's popping down here. Like these are all bars, uh -huh. and it's mixed crowd. Yeah. 
So on the weekends, like it pops down here. I'll definitely explore it one of the nights. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Coca Cola headquarters? Over there, see Coca a big Coca Cola sign on that side. Mm -hmm. Well, on this side, yeah. So Coca, we're close to Coca Cola. No. Oh, okay. We got a sign from the car. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was pointing at me the whole time. I didn't what know. was? The camera. And I thought I was showing it to um top. Yeah. It was thank you so much for watching this episode let me know what you think in the comment section below i hope you truly enjoyed it and you learned something new let me know what more would you love to see from atlanta georgia leave a comment and don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe in case you are not subscribed i'll see you on the next episode Bye bye